Welcome back to Mini Everything. My name is John. Um, these are the combination shear and or scissor by Engineer. So Engineer is um, a Japanese tool manufacturer. Um, these are pretty interesting. Um, I'm just going to stop talking and get into the packaging here if I can. Okay, all right, okay. So, um, I do have these Knipix ones already, so they're not going to be, this isn't really necessarily going to be a comparison because these are different, these are an electrician shear, so these are specifically kind of designed with this notch and stuff to kind of be able to cut wire and strip wire a little bit easier. Um, these ones... I'm assuming you're able to, it's just not going to be as easy. Um, these do have a wire stripper on them. They do have a sheath too, we'll compare those. This is the sheath for the engineer, and this is the sheath for the Kimpix. Kimpix does is bigger and it does have a bell loop. Not saying one's better than the other, but just throwing it out there. This is what the engineer looks like in its sheath, and here is what the Kimpix looks like in their sheath. Um, one thing I'll say already is the grip on the Kinepix, this um, kind of comfort grip, is better. But, nonetheless, let's get into it here. Um, what I was, what intrigued me on these guys was all these micro serrations right here. I don't know how well you can see those. Um, put them on a piece of white paper, maybe you can see it better. So that would be really good for um, kind of not letting things back out. You ever cut something, try to cut it down here, and it kind of slides forward on you? So, like any anything, really. Rope, um, and wire. So I have some wire here. Um, this is pretty thick stuff. It does say it cuts up to two millimeter, whatever that means. Um, cab tire cord, rope, cotton insulated cord, branches, CDs. I like how they put a branch there, it's funny. Um, leather belts, copper wire, in the wire cutter. So the wire cutter is right here. Wire cutter is right here. So where you cut wire is right here. Probably better just for stranded. I'll get a piece of or a solid. I'll get a piece of solid for that. But I'm gonna cut this piece right here, just straight here. Did cut. Let's see if I can cut this. Because I mean, those grooves will really kind of cut into that or hold that uh, wire there. It did cut it. Let's look at the cut. And I know I said I'm not going to compare these to the Knipix, but I kind of want to compare this cut to the Knipix one. <clears throat> Again, far easier to cut with. Uh, which side was it? It was... Let's see. Yeah. This side was the Knipix cutting. And this side... Or no, this side was... I don't remember. One of these sides... They both cut about the same, it looks like to me. Let's show you those. Um, easier to cut with these, obviously. They are an electrician shear. These are a combination shear. Um, I do want to get a piece of copper wire here. Kind of hard stuff, you know. Alright, this is a piece of 14. This is a piece of 14 gauge, 14 gauge, um, and then assuming you put it in here, and then just am I doing this wrong? Possibly. No, I'm doing it correctly. Just like this. Um, yes, I wouldn't go any higher than 14. Lower, I should say. Um, that was a little bit difficult to do. I think that 
kind of cable cutter or that wire cutter was definitely an afterthought it seems um, or just an added feature they, they thought of um, it's not great I'm not a big fan of it um, so they have a safety box opener just right here which is a little bit sharp but it's not too sharp which is a pretty cool feature so you don't cut anything um, yeah, and the blades on them definitely seem sharp. We'll cut just at the tips here. Yeah, they, they cut. They do cut. Especially when you get down to that serrated area. Um, again, it's the Engineer PH55, made in Japan. The four-in-one multi-purpose blade combination. They have pretty decent packaging, too. I kind of like the... Um, yeah, so this is them. Um, I'm not going to give too many thoughts yet, obviously. I don't know much about them. Um, but this is they, and they is them. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about anything here, leave them down below. Bye-bye.